If you were here yesterday, hello again. If you were not here yesterday, that's okay. Hello and nice to meet you. Are you having a good morning? Okay, well, are you ready to practice some English? Okay, well, the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you a really fun song. It's a song I like to sing when I feel a little tired in the morning because it's so much fun. Do you want to sing with me? Okay, let's try it together. All right, this song is called Jump, Run, and shout. Ah! All right. Don't worry if you don't know the words. You can listen and repeat, or you can read the words on the screen. But it's all right. Just have fun. Okay. Let's go. Do you feel awake with lots of energy ready to learn? Because I feel this way. Great. Okay. 
Let's get started. What's first? What can we do today to practice English? I think I know what we can do. Oh, yes, excellent. Yesterday, we started on this worksheet with our opposites. Do you remember what an opposite is? Opposites. Like big and small. Things that are very, very different. Okay. So here, we started matching. Let's look to see what we did in class yesterday. Okay, so we have right here, fat and thin, fat and thin, opposites. Okay, what else? We have ugly and beautiful. Ugly and beautiful. Opposites. Okay, what else? Oh, yeah, this one. Hard. and soft, hard and soft, opposites. Okay, and we found one more right here. Young, like you, and old, like him, or grandmother, or grandfather. Okay, great. Let's continue with our opposites today. Let's look at these two pictures here. Hmm. Okay, we have two girls. How do you think this girl is feeling? Is she hot? Is she oh, tired? Is she sad? I think she's sad. Okay. Let's find sad. Sad, sad. Is it on the list? I see it here. Sad. Okay. Let's add it. Sad. What's the opposite of sad? Be. Of course, she is sad, but she is happy. Let's find happy. Happy, 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 happy. Here, I found it. Okay, let's put happy under this girl. All right, now we have sad and happy. Nice. I think that one was a little easy. Let's do another one. Okay, let's look here. Ooh, do you know this game? Yes, this is a Rubik's Cube puzzle. 
you have to turn and twist and get all the colors. This one, I can't do it. I can't. It's really, really difficult. Do you know this word? Difficult. Let's see if difficult is one of our words. Difficult, difficult, aha. Uh -huh. I see it. So let's take difficult. Put it here. Whew. I can't do it. It's a really, really difficult puzzle. I don't know. But this one only has one color. It is not difficult. So it is easy. Easy peasy, of course. This puzzle is difficult. I can't do it. This puzzle is easy. I can do it. Let's find easy. Easy, easy, easy. Here we are. So let's take easy and put easy under the picture right here perfect okay so while we're here let's cross out the ones that we finished we did sad and happy sad done Happy, done, easy, easy, finished, and difficult, 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 ha, here, difficult, all done. All right, let's continue. Okay, let's look down here. Uh-huh. This boy here, he can't lift the heavy, heavy weight. He can't. Why not? Because he is weak, weak, W, E, A, K. When you are weak, you do not have big muscles. And sometimes you cannot lift things. So he is weak. Let's take weak and put it over here. Do you know the opposite of weak? When you have big muscles, you are Strong. Good. Are you strong? Show me. Let's see the muscles. Nice. Okay. So, strong is right here. So let's take strong and put it under the picture. And Let's cross out the words. Weak, finished, strong, 
finished. All right, let's continue. Down here. This man, if you can see, maybe not, he has a lot of money. Money, money, nice clothing, delicious food. What is he? Is he strong? Soft? He is rich. Can I hear that? He is rich. Okay. Rich, rich, rich. Right here. So let's copy and add it under the picture. All right. Rich, rich, rich. Finished. What is the opposite of rich? When you have no money and you cannot buy anything. Did you say poor? Yes, that is correct. Poor, 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 aha, poor. So let's copy poor, poor, and put it under the picture. All right, all finished with poor. So now we have rich, and poor. Opposites. Nice. Okay, we have a few more. Ooh, look at these pictures. We have a devil. Arr. Hmm. Well, an of good here. Let's put the word good under the picture of the angel and the word bad and put that under the picture of the devil. Or I can write bad. It's very easy, it's only three letters. B, A, D. Okay, so good, finished, bad, finished. Okay, let's look. Two animals, two very different animals. This is a rabbit, and this is a turtle. Well, let's look at our words so we can decide what opposites we have. Slow, cold, fast, long, short, and hot. Which one of these words could we use for the running rabbit? Do you think the rabbit runs slow or fast? Fast. I think so too. Okay, so if the rabbit runs fast, let's put fast here. And the opposite of fast is slow, very 
slow. Okay. So, the rabbit is fast, right? And the turtle is slow. Let's add slow. Slow, slow. Okay. Excellent. All right. So remember yesterday we did young, check, and old, check. Now we have four more. So look at our words, right? We have cold, not fast, long, short, and hot. Cold, long, short, hot. Cold, long, short, and hot. What do you think? I think you're right. Not cold, not hot, not for our two snakes. Let's look at the tail. This tail is short and this tail is long. Opposites. Cool. Let's write it in. Mm -hmm -hmm. Long. and short. Snake one has a short tail. Snake two has a long tail. Okay, very nice. So let's cross out short and long and Fast. Okay. Now, we got two. We have an ice cream cone mm -hmm. and a cup of coffee. Cold, hot, hot, cold. And ice cream is cold. Correct. So let's take cold and move it here, which means the last word is hot. Okay, well, let's check to make sure we used all of the words. Slow, cold. Look at that. Sad and happy. Fat and thin. Easy and difficult. Hard and soft. Weak and strong. Rich and poor. Bad and good. Ugly and beautiful. Fast and slow. Young and old. Short and long. Cold and hot. Okay, nice job. If you look around your home, can you see 
things that are hard or soft. Hmm. What about things that are hot or cold? Or maybe things that are long or short. Take a look. Maybe today you can practice your opposites. Excellent job. We have a little more time. I'd like to spend that time to show you another family tree. This is not my family. This is the family of Angela. So, let's look. Hello, my name is Angela. And this is my family tree. Okay, so here, this is Angela. So if I am Angela, this is my tree. What's number one? Emily is my I don't know. Let's look. Emily, Emily, do you see an Emily? Aha! Emily! So let's look. Angela is here. And Emily is here someone older. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, exactly. I think Emily is the mother. So, I am Angela. Emily is my mother. Let's spell it out together. M O T H E R. We can say mother or mom or mama or mummy, whatever you want. Okay, nice. I think we have time for one more. Jason. I see Jason. Okay, if Emily is the mother and we see this connection here, Jason is Mother, father. Yeah, let's try it. F, A, T, H, E, R. We can say father, we can say dad, or daddy, or dada. Okay, well, I think we've run out of time for today, but I hope you have an amazing day and a wonderful morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.